In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to control movie clips uh, by dragging them, and also we're going to learn how to play and stop a movie clip using play and stop buttons. So first things first, open up this file, start controlling mc.fla. It will be available for download right over here on tutvid.com. Let's drag this right into Flash. Whoops. There we go. And first thing we're going to do here is create three new layers. And we're going to start by naming the layers. We're going to name this one Stars. And we're going to name this one Car. And we're going to name this one Buttons. Or stop them or our play and stop buttons and this one AS for action script and the first thing we want to do is open up the library and you can come and do that right here under the window menu library and this is your library and you should have two folders in it one named car one named star and we want to get the car first so double click on the car folder icon here and drag into or onto the stage this movie clip right here underscore car master so drag that right out onto the stage let me move the library out of the way and it's quite large. I'm going to keep it pretty big so you can see it. But I'm going to grab my free transform tool here and I'm just going to scale a little smaller. But if you have it, you'll know the size there. So you can see I've already made a mistake here. I have put it onto the action script layer. We can quickly correct that error by just clicking that keyframe and dragging it right down to the car layer. Drops it right onto the car layer and that's where we want it. So what we have to do now is we want to be able to drag this car around so we have to have a way of talking you uh, talking to this car using action script to talk to the car and that means we need to come under here the properties palette and make sure you have the car selected okay use selection tool and give this an instance name the instance name box is located right here beneath this movie clip drop down menu where you can select the kind of uh, symbol you have so select on that and give it a any instance name you want. In my case, I'm naming it car capital M capital C. So it's car MC. The capitalization is important because action script is case sensitive. So this action script looks at this car as being car MC. So we're going to come up here to the action script layer and we're going to come down to window and we're going to hit actions right here. And what we need to do now is talk to that car. So the first thing I'm going to type is car MC. That's my instance name. And we're going to say on press case is sensitive. So that has to be that capital P. For those of you that have been using ActionScript for a while, no. Space equals function. Open and close parenthesis. Then do an open curly bracket. The curly bracket is shift plus the key right there beside your P. The letter P, that is. And then put a closed curly bracket right there, two lines below. Now, in between those curly brackets, okay, in between these two curly brackets, we want to type this. It's talking to this car MC dot start drag. A drag with a capital D. Open and close parenthesis, semicolon. And what this is saying is car MC on press, okay, so when car, when we're pressing on car MC, start dragging. Okay, so let's just quickly test that. You can test your movie by coming up to Control Test Movie or the Quick Hotkey Command or Control Enter. Okay, and we can click on it and drag it, but when we let go, it doesn't stop dragging. So, Stop Drag happens to be a act, an action script command. Let's come back here into our actions, and we're just going to copy all of this. So we're going to right-click, hit Copy, add another line, and paste it all right here. But on this, we're going to say On Release, okay? So this is an on press command up here. We're going to say on release. And we're going to say this dot stop drag. Okay. So right there is the action script you need. Let's move the action script palette out of the way. Let's test this movie once more. And you can see we can click on the car and drag it. And when we let go, it stops dragging. Okay. So that's a basic drag. Let's do a little bit more advanced drag. And... You'll see why it's more advanced in just a second. I'm going to move the car over here off to the side. We're going to come down here, select the stars layer. So this time we put our stars on the correct layer. Grab your library. Double click on the folder icon to close up the folder and open up the star folder. What you want is this underscore stars master movie clip right here. Okay. We're going to give this the instance name of stars MC, just like we did car MC, okay, with a capital M and capital C. We're going to come up here to the Action Script palette again. I'm going to grab our Actions palette. 
And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of this code, right-click copy, add a new line, right-click and paste it, and all we have to change here, let me just quickly add a dividing line. Okay, so below this line is our star stuff. These are This is our star action script. Up here, this is the stuff that has to do with dragging the car. So here, all we have to do is change the name of our instance name. Let's say stars MC, and here we will say stars MC. And let's test it. Let's grab one of these stars, and we can drag it. Now, if you are following along, you'll notice when you let go, even though we put the stop drag, it's not going to let you let go. That is because you actually have to wait until a star comes around. That's how I just let go of it. I waited until the star came underneath the mouse cursor, and then I can let go of it. There we go. Okay, so I'm moving it around and watch. When I when a star comes underneath the cursor, I'm waiting for the big one here. When I click, it lets me let go of it. I missed it there. But that's how you have to do it. Now, that can't be right, because if we want someone to be able to drag this, we can't have them sitting there waiting for a star to come around. They'll think something's gone wrong. They won't know that you have to wait till a star comes underneath. So we have to create something that makes this entire area a selectable area. And we're going to do that by double-clicking into this movie clip. You can see we're now inside underscore, underscore stars master. And we have a layer in here called stars. We're going to create another layer called dragger. You'll see why I'm naming it dragger in just a second, because that's basically what it is. It's a dragger. Grab the oval tool, and we know that the stars pretty much come out to an area about this big. Okay, So we're going to draw a circle about that big. I'm going to select it. I'm going to move it. I'm going to grab the free transform tool. We'll make it just a little bigger, just to be on the safe side. Okay, And we're going to come up here to modify and hit convert to symbol. The hotkey for that is F8. And we're going to name this symbol Dragger. What else? And if we check out our library palette, we can see that we have the symbol here, dragger. And the only reason I've converted it to a symbol is so I can come here to the properties palette, come under the color options, and reduce the alpha to zero. Okay? Just like that. And that's it. The reason that is going to help us is because now technically Stars MC is a movie clip that is the size of dragger. So anywhere we click on that dragger movie clip, will allow us to move those stars. So watch this. I don't even have to select a star. I can move the whole group out here. Okay? So that's nice because that means I can select a star and see now none of the stars are underneath my cursor. I can let go and it lets go. And the car still works here. Okay, so there you go. That's the basics of dragging. Let's look at being able to play and pause these movie clips because if you check out the car, it is slightly moving. It's just kind of jostling around there. So... We need to create a few buttons here. I'm, we're actually going to create them. We're going to come under here. We're going to grab a couple default buttons. And that is Window Common Libraries Buttons. This opens up a separate library. You can see our regular libraries right here. This is this common library. And we're going to come all the way down to the bottom. We're going to hit Playback Rounded. Double click on that folder icon to open that up. And we're going to hit Rounded Gray play and rounded gray let's do pause now nah, let's do stop so hit rounded gray play and rounded gray stop there drag those both I held down control or command and selected both of them and drag them out onto the stage we can now close this common library but if we look it looks like it only dragged out one well it did actually drag them out it did actually drag both of them out it uh, just placed them directly on top of one another if we just move it aside we can see there we have our gray buttons. And I just selected the gray ones here so they'd be easy to color. Okay, make sure here. Let's select both of them. Both the buttons. Right click on them and hit select cut because I placed them on the wrong layer. Right click and hit paste in place. Okay, so there we go. We've got them on their own layer now. Now, with them both selected, come, under, come right here to the properties palette and under color select advanced. And we... We want to select the settings button here, and we need to give this some color settings. So under red here, we want to set this to be 150. We want green to be 50, and we want blue to be negative 100. Okay, so you can see that gives us these very orange colored buttons. And because of the way these are set up, 
when I publish this movie, when I roll over, they retain their orangeness. Okay? So, that's good. Now, what we want to do is set these buttons to actually play or stop, or in this case, pause, these movie clips. So I'm going to select the play button. I'm going to come under the properties palette, and we're going to give this an instance name. Instance name box for a button is in the same place as a movie clip. We're going to name this play, capital BTN. Okay? And the stop button. Select that, and we're going to name this stop, capital BTN. Now we'll come back up here to the, well, the action script layer, but to keep from confusing, I'll create a new action script layer. So we'll name this AS underscore underscore BTN. So that's action script for buttons. So, grab your actions palette window, actions, which is right here off screen. And what we want to do is talk to that play button. So we had play BTN dot on release, we'll say, equals function, open and close parenthesis, that curly bracket, an open one, and then a closed curly bracket. And what we're saying now is when someone clicks on play button, but beyond clicking on it, when they release the mouse button, that's what that on release is, do something. And this is that function. So what we're going to say is car MC, we're talking to that car movie clip, remember we named that car MC, dot play. Okay? Now, if I were to test the movie now, you wouldn't see anything when I press that because it's already playing by default. But we also want to say stars MC dot play. Okay? Now, we're going to create a new command. We're going to talk to the stop button here. So that's stop BTN. That's the instance name for the stop button. We're going to say on press. So as soon as the user presses on the stop button, it stops. Equals function open and close parenthesis, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and now we're going to type the same thing, cars MC dot, but instead of it being a play, we're going to type a stop action here. Okay? And we're also going to say stars MC dot stop. Open and close parenthesis, semicolon. Okay. And if we test, check the script syntax, it contains no errors. Let's close it up and move it off screen here. Now, I already know there's going to be a problem when we go to publish this, and I'll show you why. Publish the movie, and you're going to see that the car moves. If you're following along with this tutorial, you're really going to be able to tell. I don't know if the, my screen capture right here is giving you a good representation of that. But when I hit stop, the car stops moving, but the stars don't. When I hit play, the car continues moving, and the stars, they've been moving the whole time. The reason that's happening is because here, if I double-click on the stars layer, this is right inside Stars MC. We gave this movie clip here, this movie clip, which is underscore Stars Master, the instance name of Stars MC. So it's going inside of Stars MC and saying stop. Well, the problem with that is it's already stopped. You can see there's no other frames inside of underscore Stars Master. So we have to go beyond this. We have to come here. Let me lock up the dragger layer so we don't accidentally select that. We need to go inside of these stars to see if there's anything happening inside of these. And we can see yes. These rotating on that path, all of that's happening inside of this star. So we need to give each of these stars their own instance name here. So what I'm going to do is hit that keyframe to select all of them, or just select all of them this way. And we can see there's four stars, one of which is directly underneath one of the other stars. We'll get to that one in a minute. So select the first star, and we'll name it star 1. Select the second one, star 2. I'm going to name that star 2, and star 3 for that one, and we'll get to the fourth one by doing this. Select all of them, and hold down the shift key and deselect these three. That leaves that bottom one there selected, which is directly underneath that star, so we don't really have to move it. And we're just going to give this one the name star 4. That's the instance name, so double-click anywhere to get back to your main movie clip. Let me collapse the properties palette there. Come back into the action script for buttons layer and grab your actions palette. Now, what we have to do, we can't just say star one dot play and then move down and say star two oops, dot play. What we have to do is remember this star one movie clip is inside of stars MC. So we have to. <laughs> there we go. Stars MC dot star one dot play semicolon okay and we can just copy this now 
hit enter, paste it, and just change this to star 2. Copy both of these, paste it, and change this to star 3 and star 4. Now, we need to bring that this whole entire bunch of code. We're going to copy it because we need to bring it down here, and we're going to replace this code. Remember, this code's bad, so just delete it. We're going to paste it down here. Now, this means we have to go through and replace all these plays with stops. Well, let me just show you a quick trick to replace, replace them quickly. Click this uh, flyout menu here, and come down to Find and Replace. And we're going to find the word play, and we're going to replace it with stop. Okay? Let me close this for a second. Let me show you the entire actions palette here, because I want you to be able to see the entire thing. I'm going to go back into Find and Replace, and Play and Stop are already there. Now, we don't want to replace these plays with stops, because that would just, there'd be no point. You know, we just have to go and type play back into here, and it wouldn't save us any time. So, what we want to do is hit Find Next, and really the first play it's going to find is this play right up here. Okay? Then the next play it's going to find is this play here, but we don't want to replace them. So we're going to hit Find Next, Find Next, Find Next, Find Next, until we get to a play we want to replace, which is this one. So we're going to hit Replace, and Replace, and Replace, and Replace. So there we go. We quickly replaced all of those plays with stops. And it might not have looked like it saved any time here, but that's just because I was explaining it. If you know how to do it, you can go in very quickly and replace many things in one shot. And you're going to see here what this is going to do. I'm going to hit Command or Control Enter to test this move. You want to hit Stop. All the stars stop. And this is still a draggable movie clip. We can hit play again, and while they're playing, we can move them. Okay? So, there you have it. That's how to create uh, movie clips that are draggable and playable and stoppable for a user. So, your users can drag your movie clips around. They can play your movie clips and stop them as they wish. So, it's very nice to be able to have that kind of interactivity in your Flash movies. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you'll go check the site out. That's www.tutvid.com. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something from it. See you next time.